In this video, I'm going to talk about trigger phrases within Copilot Studio. So when you build a Copilot, the first thing which you're going to do is start building a topic. Now, once you start building a topic, the topic needs something to trigger, right? Now, that's where the trigger phrases comes handy. Now, trigger phrases basically teaches the bot different ways someone might ask about a topic. So take, for example, if you want to trigger a topic, so then uh, say if you want to order a pizza, then you can specify order pizza or pizza delivery or place a pizza order, how to order pizza, pizza menu. So like this, if you provide a specific phrase set, then your specific topic uh, will get triggered. Now to start learning, bot needs at least five to 10 short trigger phrases. So you need not worry about the article or the sentence formation or uh, spellings. Uh, the Copilot Studio will take care of that. You just need to specify multiple ways. So basically you're giving some sort of a training data to uh, get this things triggered. Now trigger phrases must be unique to the individual topic as possible. Now quite possible it may happen that you provide a phrase for one topic and then there is some sort of an overlap within the other topic as well. So th those things can also be taken care in the Copilot Studio. Now, what are the multiple <coughs> trigger phrases, right? Uh, so, uh, so if I'm talking about triggers, there are multiple triggers uh, like phrases, message received, event received, activity received, invoke received, conversation update received, redirect inactivity okay so these are the complete list of the trigger phrases now there are some uh, <clears throat> uh, trigger phrases which you may not find currently in the newer versions called plan complete because it has been renamed to something else now but on an overall uh, uh, list perspective this is a comprehensive list so phrases now what does phrases means like it will start the topic when the copilot receives a message matching topics Message received. So uh, when you uh, like say this particular trigger uh, <clears throat> will be starting a topic when every time a message is received from the user. So that's the uh, the keyword over here. Uh, so if you receive a message, then message received trigger phrases uh, will uh, be triggered for that specific topic. Now event received. Now again, it responds to custom client events. Similarly for activity, activity is like either a message or an event. If you receive an either a message or an event, then we can uh, get this activity received trigger executed. Conversation update received. So start topic based on the conversation change from client like adding or removing users or channels. So if someone adds or removes a channel, then basically we can start a topic based on that conversation change. So those can be triggered using the conversation update received trigger phrase. Now, invoke received. This is about responding to the advanced input. So take, for example, if you have deployed your bot to a Teams, okay, and then if you want to respond to advanced input like a button click in Teams, then you can make use of invoke received trigger. Redirect. Now, what is a redirect trigger? Like say, if you, if you are in a specific topic and if you want that conversation to be redirected to an, another topic, then you can make use of redirect trigger. So this is uh, mostly used when you want to escalate uh, some uh, conversation, right? Uh, inactivity. Now, this starts the topic after period of inactivity from users. So take, for example, if your bot is inactive for, say, 30 minutes, then you can automatically trigger the inactivity trigger so that you can uh, specify uh, it or specify a topic to get triggered on basis of the inactivity. So that's basically an event. Okay, means nothing has happened and I want to start a, or restart a conversation with the user. If none of the topic matches and if gen ai is enabled within your copilot studio configuration then an on it, it is all dependent on this on unknown intent trigger okay so this is the most important trigger uh, because if none of the topic gets matched then it is completely relied on artificial intelligence to understand uh, uh, and then respond on basis of that so take for example if you are building a co-pilot or a bot and if you have tried to cover most of the topics but you cannot configure all the topics uh, uh, at once right so if you uh, 
if you think that the conversation text which has been discussed within that conversation is uh, not matching any of the topic, then uh, the last resort would be on unknown intent. So that means the control will go to the uh, the models, the large language models uh, or the language models. And then on basis of that, the response will be presented to the user. Phrases learning tips. So there are various uh, tips and tricks which you need to understand uh, or uh, make use of when you are uh, writing phrases. Okay, so Copal basically need five to ten short trigger phrases. Now this is not a hard limit number. Even if you uh, give one phrase, it will do good. But then it is always advisable to have five to ten short trigger phrase so that the Copilot engine understands the context behind that specific phrases and then accordingly it will trigger the topic now writing tips are like short sentences work best uh, you need to just focus on one issue and use different words to describe it vary the part of speech use noun verbs uh, don't worry about capitalizing the word or making them plural or spelling like uh, the copilot engine is smart enough to understand the difference between the capitalization plural form spell spelling mistakes uh, checking uh, also, don't use trigger phrases to redirect mid-conversation. Now, multiple topics match. Now, quite possible, like you may define a phrase in one of the topic, and then uh, in another topic, there might be some sort of an overlap. Now, if that happens, then the co-pilot will give the instruction to the user and will present both the topics if this particular checkbox is enabled. So if including multiple topics matches checkbox is selected on recognized intent, then uh, the user will be presented uh, the specific uh, options so the topics will be included in the options presented by the user when more than one topic matches what the user says now this is uh, the theoretical part let's jump into the demo so this is my co-pilot so this is Girish IT services co-pilot and I have a topic okay so let's uh, jump into this topic so take for example I have this topic I've already created this topic pizza ordering okay so if I go into this trigger and if I go into the properties, I will check what are the phrases, okay? So if I click on phrases, I can see a whole bunch of list over here, like order pizza, pizza delivery. Can I customize my pizza, pizza toppings, okay? Uh, or maybe I'll just say pizza, olives, Italy, okay? So I can specify this, right? Now, based on this particular keyword, the system will understand whether to uh, trigger a uh, topic of pizza ordering or not so the topic name is pizza ordering right now i showed you another options over here uh, about advanced okay if i click on advanced over here it says include in multiple topic matches so take for example if you have another uh, uh, topic which is somewhat related to pizza but then if you have a something related to the delivery okay so there's a get a pizza delivered now if i have another topic called as pizza delivery and it also has that same keyword you know uh so or delivery or returns then it will prompt for this so if you see this keyword over here it says get a pizza delivered okay so let me save this first okay and let me create an another topic So I'll create a uh, topic, uh, I'll create a new topic, I click on topic, add a topic, I'll just say pizza delivery return and I'll just edit the phase and I'll call it as pizza delivery return, return pizza, free pizza okay something like this okay uh, and if you see this keyword pizza delivery return okay uh, if i click on advance i'll say include in multiple topic matches okay so i'll click on save so if you see this keyword pizza delivery return so i'll just uh, i just misspelled the word delivery okay so i've just put delivery okay so if i just type in delivery over here then let's see what happens so which uh uh statement will get executed now if you see here i just type pizza delivery return delivery it says to clarify did you mean pizza delivery return now 
uh, this is the topic which it has found and it has also found pizza ordering topic so it has found three different topics so it is providing me an option three different topics okay uh, and i can select whatever i want now what has happened over here because i have selected the properties over here uh, so if i go to phrases edit i will select advanced include in multiple topic matches now i've selected included in topic multiple topic matches and that's the reason it is presenting me with this option this option and this option because the bot got confused and bot didn't have any answer so he has presented me with three different topics okay so i can select whatever i want however if i do not want the delivery part okay from a uh, so if, if you see here for this particular topic pizza delivery written yes i need to have this in multiple topic matches but if i go into an another topic which is pizza ordering and if i select the trigger phrase i'll edit and i'll select advance as none okay and i'll click on save and now if i ask for delivery then technically pizza ordering option should not come into picture so let's do one thing let me again type in delivery okay now it might take a while for this to be configured uh, so let me restart reset it and i can see that there is a pizza delivery and that's why this pizza ordering option is coming okay so let me remove this option as well and delivered so let me remove this and i'll click on save and let me just type now delivery now if i type in delivery as you see over here it will just return pizza delivery return and the lesson three topic which is by default uh, available out of the box and it is not showing me pizza ordering because what we have said that if there is a multiple topic clashes then do not include this right so it has not found this pizza ordering uh, topic containing the word delivery in it right uh, now from a topics perspective now here you can go and you can create a blank topic okay now the topic uh, which you can create as I've created a blank topic. I can name the topic. Okay. However, uh, uh, from a trigger perspective, if you see here, it says uh, no phrases to show. Now, why does not phrases to show? Because I need to click on edit and then start typing in the phrases, right? Uh, like if I want to greet uh, my user, I can type in hello, um, uh, good day, and all those things as a part of the welcome trigger. Uh, however, uh, there is an option over here to change the phrases, right? Now, if you see from the trigger phrase change, I can specify message received, I can specify event received, activity received. So depending on whatever uh, trigger you want, now it is either trigger based on phrases whereby the user will type in something or a system related thing like an event has uh, happened or you have received a message or if it is linked with the team then you have uh, a uh, like an invoke received or maybe if this particular thing is getting redirected okay so only start the topic when it is redirected from another topic then you can do that as well or maybe if you want to start with an inactivity trigger now so take for example if your bot is conversing with the user and the user has sent type anything for the last 30 minutes then you can uh, create your own inactivity trigger and then you can send a message and specify that hey user are you still there okay so this will be uh, an inactivity wake up topic okay so so what we have done, we have created an inactivity wake up topic. So in case uh, if the user goes into a silent mode, then we can uh, wake up uh, and then we can ask the user the question, hey user, are you still there, right? Now the configuration over here will be again, uh, if you click on properties, you can specify, choose how long a chat session must be inactive, okay? So there is an option of 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes and one hour. So like this, we can specify the inactivity duration. Now, again, the configuration changes depending on what you select, okay? So if I select message received, okay? Then the situation changes completely. So you need to actually specify what type of message it is, what is the activity type? So is it a message? Is it a message delete, message reaction, whether it's a trace, suggestion, 
typing, uh, handoff, uh, end of conversation. So we can specify all these things, right? Now it it again depends on the trigger what you select. So if I now select event received, and now if I go into the property, then I need to specify the event name, and then I can configure the condition either using builder or the formula or specify the priority as well. Now, if I again change the trigger and then I'll make it activity received, then if I go to the properties, then I need to specify again what type of activity it is. Like as you saw in the message, it was almost the similar same thing, right? Like command, typing, trace, invoke, handoff, event, delay. Uh, then if you again change this i'll say conversation update received okay so if you go into the property here you will see activity type as conversation update right and that's why it has changed this into conversation update if i click on end of conversation then it will say activity received if i select contact relation update then it is activity release received so similarly the whatever you select it all depends on the type of that activity so if there is an invoke then i'll say invoke receive the trigger name is invoke receive if the activity type is invoke response then it is activity received and not related to invoke okay so like this uh, depending on your situation you can uh, define your trigger so take for example if i select handoff then again it is one kind of an activity right so like this you can configure the trigger so by default when you create a topic it will come the topic trigger as phrases but there is an option to change all these different triggers now it all depends on what kind of scenario you want now you can select redirect you can select inactivity you can select invoke received so this is just a high level introduction about different types of trigger which you can utilize within your copilot studio application thanks for watching